With full frame coverage, 8K resolve, and a constant T2.4 aperture throughout, Canon's flex zooms cover 20 millimeters to 135 millimeters in just two lenses, the 20 to 50 millimeter and the 45 to 135 millimeter. These lenses are similar in size, weight, and either EF mount or PL mount. Lens communication is passed through the contacts in the EF mount or through the cook eye and extended lens communication included with the PL mount. You can change lens mounts without damaging the lens or voiding the warranty. Now, let's swap these lens mounts, EF to PL first. If you need PL to EF, go to the minute mark in the description. The tools necessary are a Phillips head screwdriver, a 0.9 millimeter hex wrench, and a 2.0 millimeter hex wrench. First, we're gonna remove the four Phillips screws on the name ring and remove the name ring. I'm using a zero by 50 driver to do this. Next, back out the four optical center adjust screws. No need to remove them, just back them out enough to allow the mount unit to be removed. Now, remove the eight screws with the 2.0 millimeter hex and pull the mount unit off. If it doesn't pull off easily, recheck the four 0.9 millimeter optical center adjust screws and back them out until it does. Remove the four Phillips screws from the data port cover. You can see the movement of the optical centering ring, which allows you to precisely adjust the mount to keep the subject centered from tele-end to wide-end during zooming. Place the PL mount unit onto the lens. Confirm the placement pin and connector are in the 12 o'clock position as shown. Snug the eight M2.0 hex screws. Install the lens onto a camera or projector and perform an optical center adjustment using the four 0.9 millimeter optical center adjust screws to push or pull the mount to optical center. Zoom to the tele end, mark the center, zoom to the wide and make the adjustments to move the optical center. Repeat to assure correct adjustment. For focus, zoom to the tally end, take focus using the focus ring, zoom to wide. Set the flange back focus and repeat as necessary to assure focus. Secure the 2.0 millimeter hex screws and confirm optical center and focus. Install the Limo connector unit using the four Phillips screws from the data port cover. Install the PL name ring with four Phillips screws. Confirm the flange back adjustment, open the rubber cover, loosen the black holding screw and adjust the flange back with the brass screw. Once set, secure the black holding screw and your lens is complete. 
Remove the four Phillips screws on the name ring and remove the PL mount name ring. Back out the four 0.9 millimeter hex optical center adjustment screws. Don't remove them, just back them out enough to remove the mount unit. Remove eight 2.0 millimeter hex screws and pull off the mount unit. If the mount unit doesn't come off easily, back the four 0.9 millimeter hex screws out until it can be removed. Remove the four Phillips screws from the Limo connector unit and remove it. Place the EF mount unit onto the lens. Confirm the placement pin and connector are in the 6 o'clock position as shown. Temporarily snug the 2.0 millimeter hex screws and install the lens on a camera or projector. Perform an optical center adjustment using the four 0.9 millimeter optical center adjust screws to push or pull the mount to optical center. Zoom to the telly end and mark the center. Zoom to wide and make the adjustments to move the optical center. Repeat to assure correct adjustment. For focus, zoom to the telly end. Take focus using the focus ring. Zoom to wide. Set the flange back focus and repeat as necessary to assure focus. Secure the 2.0 millimeter hex screws and confirm optical center and focus. Install the data port cover with the same Phillips screws from the Limo connector unit. Install the EF name ring with the four Phillips screws and confirm flange back adjustment and your lens is complete.